So what were you doing when you found out you were nominated? Ah, uh, when I found out I was nominated, what was I doing? I was, uh, I was in front of my laptop hitting the refresh button on Grammy.com over and over and over until the results showed up. That's how uncool I am. I, I, I actually really care about this kind of stuff. So yeah, I was, uh, I, I was thrilled uh, to see my name pop up on there with, uh, with uh, that amazing list of other people that are nominated in the category. So it's, it's kind of insane competition this year, so it's going to be a fun category. Who's the first per person you told? Uh, I think the first person I told was probably my wife. I was, uh, I think I said, honey! And then I sent her the link upstairs so she wouldn't have to come all the way down. You know, so it's, it's a long way to go. Were you surprised? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it was, um, uh, I, I've been nominated a number of times, but this was sort of different for me because um, I didn't put out a full album. Uh, what I did was I released five songs digitally uh, over the course of last summer. Uh, and five songs uh, uh, constitutes an EP, and an EP is eligible to win a Grammy in the comedy category. So it was sort of like uh, almost a technicality that I got nominated, actually. Uh, but I'm thrilled that I did. I'm, I'm, I'm honored, and, uh, you know, it's just nice to be able to go to the Grammys and, and hang. Who's your date for the Grammys? Uh, my date for the Grammys is probably going to be my wife, because she might mm, take offense if I took somebody else. Has being nominated changed you at all? Uh, being nominated for this Grammy, uh, I think, is going to change my life in profound ways. Uh, the, the biggest of which being that tomorrow night, um, I'm going to be at the Grammys instead of at home watching the Grammys on TV. Why do you deserve to win? Uh, I actually don't deserve to win. Uh, uh, I, having said that, I did vote for myself anyway, because I'm kind of a hypocrite that way. Uh, but no, I, I don't think that, I don't think this is really my year. Although, you know, there were probably a couple times in the past where I should have won and I didn't. So, uh, it would be, you know, extreme karma for me to win this year because I totally do not deserve to win this year. When do you think you got robbed? I, I don't want to specifically say because then the people that won that year would be like, uh, really? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just saying that. But, you know, it's, it's like you, you don't always win because you deserve to. So, you know, it, it, it comes around and goes around. How do you think the Grammys have histor historically dealt with, like, uh, comedy recordings? Well, it's uh, the, uh, Gram the Grammys have dealt with the comedy category uh, in a number of different ways. It's, it's Right now they're giving it a lot of respect, which I appreciate. Uh, the Grammys have not been uh, televising the comedy, comedy category since... I should think of the 80s. Sometime in the 80s was the last time it was on TV. So I'm thrilled that it's part of the broadcast now. Uh, there was a period of about 10 years, uh, mostly during the 90s, when um, uh, they didn't even have a category for me at the Grammys, really. They, they took away musical comedy from the comedy category. It had to be stand-up only. It was sort of the, uh, the Yankovic exclusionary rule. Uh, but, but they reinstated it. I, I became eligible again in 2004. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I couldn't be happier now with, with uh, uh, the treatment of the category. Did you have to strong arm anyone to get a Mac? I, I didn't have to break any legs. Uh, they, they kind of figured it out on their own, I think. Any standout misses in this year's nominations? Well, you know what? I was uh, really surprised, uh, baffled, uh, that The Lonely Island wasn't even nominated for the comedy category. I thought, you know, before the nominations come out, I thought, well, they're just going to win. I mean, like, has there been a better comedy album this year or in the last few years? I mean, it's like really head and shoulders above everything else, I think. Uh, and the fact that it was not even nominated uh, really kind of, uh, you know, confused me. Um, I, yeah, but, but they are nominated in a, in a totally different category for a best rap duet with T-Pain. So the, I guess they'll be there anyway, but it's just very, very strange that they wouldn't be in the comedy, comedy category. That's weird they'd be nominated for best rap duet and yeah. not in comedy. Which, which, from what I hear, the people in the rap community are not thrilled about that. They don't... <laughs> Somehow I don't think that, that, that Andy Sandberg should be uh, competing with Jay-Z for some reason. <laughs> it's kind of a Jethro Tull moment. It seems. Yeah. Who would you like to see host the Grammys? If it, anyone throughout history? Oh, if anybody throughout history could host the Grammys, um, I, I'd like to pick me. That'd be fun. Uh, again, never going to happen. But, you know, if, if you asked and, you know, if, if, if I got the call, you know, how could I turn that down, really? That's, that's the same way Mick Fleetwood answered, so... Maybe you and him can battle it out for it. <laughs> um, My second choice, by the way, would be Mick Fleetwood. Right. <laughs> so if I'm not available, I'd give it to Mick. Okay, okay. Uh, what category would you like to see added to the Grammys? Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, categories to the Grammys already. I think there's over 100 now. But, I mean, they're always adding new categories. And if I personally 
would be in charge of adding one category. I think best accordion solo. That would be a good one. I, I think that the Grammys are ready for it. Mm -hmm. That seems you would excel at that. It would seem. If, if you could take away a category, what would it be? <laughs> I don't want to take away any anybody's category. I mean, that would. No, I mean, you know, it's that that would that wouldn't be right. There's there's, you know, I think. Um, no, no, I can't, I can't, I can't take away a category. How could I do that? <laughs> okay, uh, your favorite Grammy moment from years past. Uh, my favorite Grammy moment from years past, again, you know, this is all kind of uh, egocentric because, you know, again, I'm a answering honestly. I mean, my favorite Grammy moment was the first time I won a Grammy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, and the second and third times were great too, but the first time, I mean, prior to that, uh, I was just playing, you know, Al Yankovic, but after that first Grammy, I could legally change my name to the Grammy award-winning Al Yankovic. So it kind of changed my life. 